Hey guys, it's Flyshow94 and welcome back to Diddy Kong Racing. Um, I still haven't checked if I've made a trophy challenge yet. I should do that. But I'm not doing it right now. But we have got a challenge from Taj, another one. He has to do the plane challenge now. So this is the last of the three challenges. Because obviously, it's the last of the three vehicles. Sorry, I really wasn't paying attention to this game there. So I have got to a false start. Well, not really false, just a bad start, but it's no big deal. Nothing I can't deal with, yo. I'm joking. There'll probably be a bit of desync on that, actually, because um, I think, obviously, the um, sync from the capture cards and the game... Well, from what I hear on the TV screen, it's like a second or so delay on the capture card, so I probably sang the wrong bit there. At least what it would appear like the wrong bit on the um, actual footage, so just ignore that. Let me see, have I done any trophy races? No, I haven't. Okay, that's fine. See, that's the easy way to figure it out. See, I, I looked it up in recording. That's how skillful I am. So, yeah, make sure, like, you can go over the grass. When you do the plane challenge, but make sure you don't cut the corners too like fine. You know you can take little shortcuts, but if they're massive, then um, Taj will say you've gone off track and you have to restart it. So just take that into account. I hate that turn. Yeah, because that's the last challenge. And we have a balloon. Fucking balloons! Okay. So, um. Now onto the next world, which is this world over here. The beach water world. Sherbet Island. And then the first level in this world is Whale Beer. Well, Bay. There you go. That take off to a good start, yo. Okay, so there's a small shortcut you can take here, but it doesn't do much. You just hop off the whale onto the ship, but it's not necessarily like amazingly fast. It just because the hovercraft doesn't obviously it goes faster in water than it would on land, but. It is a small sh little nifty shortcut you can take. Ow. But yeah, if you go this way, as you can see, there's just like small things around here. I mean, it's bananas, I guess. But yeah, I'd say it is a little bit quicker to go in the boat. I always like go in the boat. But it's not like a major shortcut. It's not like, oh my god, check this like amazing game breaking shortcut I found but make sure you press R though when you um, jump or when you get up there because it helps you actually get a boost up there well not boost, it makes you just jump up there rather than um, hitting the ship and going up which can happen sometimes Okay, what's next? It is this level. <laughs> Crescent Island. I love that it's this level because I can't remember what it's called. Oh, this is the one with the key. So I'll go get the key now. And then I'll... Um... Is it by near? Oh no, it's over there. You can see a little cavern. Oh, there's like a little cave thing over there. Yep, there's a key. The key's in here. So yeah, really, pretty well hidden. I mean, I don't know how you'd find that out. Um, if it was your first time playing. But it's very, um, very cryptically hidden, that one.
Oh yeah, I guess I can show you a small shortcut in this one too, which isn't game breaking. And I think this the shortcut's actually slower in this um, level, but I'll show you it anyway. Another small shortcut there, you can take a right turn through that. That one saves like a second, but again, it's hardly a shortcut because I think I took that when I first played this game because I saw it was the first right. You can do the second right as well. Just obviously naturally, it's sort of. Okay, so yeah, there's a small shortcut if you go up here and then you can just drop through there. Doesn't really save any time, but I think there's a silver coin there later, so I will have to take that um, path. And then here's a second exit, just like that. Again, the shortcuts are hardly worth it, they're just very subtle. Na, 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 na. Again, that's probably off sync, so I should probably not sing. I need to learn. I probably shouldn't sing during capture card recording because of um, the syncing difference. Oh yeah, there's a key. So, we're going to do that minigame at the end of this video. What's the minigame this was? Oh yeah, I know what it is. It's, um... It's similar to... Oh, actually no, it isn't, but, um... It's sim yeah, it's similar to Icicle Pyramids, so it's like Last Man Standing. By the way, the music in this level and the next level, because I got the same song, uh, it's one of my favourite soundtracks in the game. Just super catchy and upbeat and stuff. That turn is really fucking awkward though. Damn it. See, I, this is why I'm, I'm trying not to sing along to the song, but I want to. <laughs> so let's just talk about the level. See, as you can see, this level, there's a lot of awkward turns to make. Um, you get towards like the end of sections, so such as this one here. But sometimes, maybe, I feel like it's best not to hold down R or, um, or B when you turn or something. I forgot to let go of the um, thing there. Okay, maybe I should have held off that one. <laughs> that one I'd hold off for. But it doesn't matter because I've got a big lead. That one I can just use to boost around anywhere to help me on my way. And winner. And the last level is Treasure Caves, which, um, this is actually a land level, but it's inside a cave, hence why it's called Treasure Caves. It's good when you think levels, like, names through. There's a boost over there, but, um, don't matter, because we'd get it, I'll just get it on the second lap, I don't bother going on my way to try and get it, because you run into people and you never end up getting it. So yeah, the gimmick is just that it's, it's just a big cave, and there's boosts in it as well. Very short level though. It's a shame I'm, I'm not letting go of the um, air button. Look at all these bananas I've got. Bananas. Sorry, my um, exhaust is leaking. I didn't. The only reason there's oil there is because my car's crap. 
Okay, there we go. So now on to um, a boss which I don't actually really like. <laughs> I'm really bad at this boss. I don't think many people like this boss to be fair, because it actually sucks. So yeah, it's an octopus, and this octopus is a bitch. Get ready! Fuck! Okay, so yeah, this drops mines, but if I can stay in front of him, that's not a problem. If he just goes front of me then I need to obviously steer kind of clear because he's crapping our minds. So yeah this one, this um, boss fight you basically have to use the balloons to good effect. There we go and if you go over takes me again I've got a homing, no I don't, but I've got, I've still got a red, I've got a missile so it's not too big of an issue. As long as I like steer close to the um, corners here, because I know that. Yep, actually, I know there's a balloon there. He's just behind me, but um, it's not too bad right now. Again, uh, only if he overtakes me will I panic, and well, I won't really panic anyway because, like I said, I've got my missiles. I've got my homing missile, so that's fine. Okay, yeah, I'm starting to get a little bit of distance, so that's good. Like I said, the octopus sucks. To be fair, the first octopus race isn't that bad. The second one is the annoying one because he's a little bit faster. And he doesn't drop mines. He actually drops bubbles. Now, um, I don't know if I've um, shown you the bubbles yet, but that's the upgrade from the oil splat. So the oil splat turns into a mine, then that turns into a bubble. And um, if you get trapped in a bubble, you get trapped in there for like a few seconds. Whereas if you hit the mine, you know, you get thrown up in the air and then you can instantly go again. But a bubble, you trap for even longer, so um, the bubbles suck. So, yep. So, let's do the mini game now. Um, it's in one of these. Let's get, get there. Is that it there? Yep. Okay, so this is, um, what's it called? Dark Water Beach. Dark, Dark Water Beach. I love, like, the accent. Dark Water Beach. It's like a very matter-of-factly way, like, it's been, that's been said. Um, yep, this is, um, Dark Water Beach. You should know that by now, peasant. No, I do love the voice acting in the railway games. Anyway, let me keep an eye on the map. So, okay, so, two fuckers are over there, so I'm gonna get one of them. Unless he hits me back. Did he? Fuck. La 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 I'm singing even though I shouldn't. Okay. Green. Who's green? Timber! Rah! Apparently I'm just bombarding this, um... Oh shit. Okay, so, um... Fuck. Oh, Christ! Okay, no, they're good, they blow up. I I, I didn't hit that, did I? Um, yeah, and I didn't do any damage anyway. I hit you like that. Why would I do that? Since when was that a good idea? You fucking bitch, Diddy, because I saw you coming. Oh, I've got everyone there. Everyone got each other. So I need to, like, make sure that I am aware. And then I'm going to turn back around and hit someone. Okay, Diddy's dead. That's what you get for hitting me, though, to be fair, because he had full... Um, he, he had eight bananas when he hit me. Let me get someone. Everyone's like sitting away. Timber. 
And then, um, okay, so they've all got one each. Oh no, Timber's dead. So I need to get, um, where are you? Crunch. There we go. Easy peasy. Alright, so with that, um, we get a piece of um, shit. I can't remember what we did. How <laughs> we got a balloon during a cutscene? Isn't it TT amulet this one? Yeah, it's TD's amulet, I think, this one. Again, sorry, I haven't recorded this for a year, so you got to let me off with stuff. Thank you. Anyways, see you guys next video, because, well, I'm done. That was the most weirdest way to do an outro.